Once upon a time, a long time ago, a couple of crazy Spaniards got together and made a short film. Their names were Salvador Dali and Luis Buñuel, and the film was called Un Chien Andalou, which means, in French, an Andalusian dog. But this movie is not about a dog, it's about 15 minutes of random and sometimes shocking images. Un Chien Andalou is a touchstone of the Surrealist movement, an artistic tendency that rebelled against conventional notions of order, beauty, and coherence. And even now, 80 years later, it still seethes with creative, revolting energy. The images are startling and reflect the surrealist obsession with sex, religion, and the Freudian unconscious, all of which may amount to the same thing. But given the near ubiquity of Salvador Dali posters on dorm room walls, modern viewers may find these images somewhat familiar. The real innovation of Un Chien Andalou lies not in the images themselves, but in the radical way that they're strung together. Bunuel was among the first to discover that the language of cinema could proceed beyond the boundaries of sense and produce powerful and strange effects and emotions. The logic of Un Chien Andalou is the logic of dreams. At the time it was made, Un Chien Andalou may have shown more affinities with poetry and painting, photography and other arts than with film. But in the decades since, movies have absorbed its influence and made up the distance. The syntax that Bunuel employs has migrated from experimental film to music videos and even to Hollywood blockbusters. To watch it now, more than 80 years after it was made, is to see all of those possibilities and some as yet undreamed of opening up again and again and again for the very first time. This is an old dog with an endless supply of new tricks. Thank mm -hmm. you.